With national food pantries being affected by COVID-19, it's made it tough for local nonprofits to give food to those in need. Kettle Lines' Max Hofer has more on that story. Good morning, Max. Good morning, Travis. Now, the holidays are an especially vital time to help supply those in need of food. Feeding South Dakota hasn't been able to keep their pantry stocked, but true to the spirit of giving, they're getting some help from the community. It's been a tough year for Feeding South Dakota as it's been difficult to replenish their food pantry due to their lack of resources. We've been purchasing food uh, in the summer that's just now arriving in October and November. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, food banks across the nation have either closed or been unable to supply nonprofits with food. But it's actually pretty difficult for us right now to locate food, um, even to purchase. This issue is what planted the seeds for local businesses such as landscape garden centers to help out the nonprofit. We've been very blessed. We've been able to say uh, safe and healthy for the most part and so what we decided to do is the best way of giving directly back to the community was to provide food or a place for feeding South to team up with feeding South Dakota. From now until December 6th owner Eric Helland is asking customers to drop off five non-perishable food items for donation to the food supply. In return customers will be given a $25 gift card to their store. But Helen says that the true value is found in building up your community. Without them, uh, we wouldn't be able to exist. So this is just a very small token of our appreciation to the uh, people of Sioux Falls and to be able to help people that are a little bit less fortunate. LGS is one of many stores across Sioux Falls helping to collect food. Development Director Christina Wee says that this support will not only fill their shelves, but families with hope of making it through the holidays. To be able to just go around to my grocery store, to my gym, or to church and just see that someone's just doing a simple food drive, um, but that food drive is going to make a really big difference. It's really powerful and it's really encouraging. Now, if you'd like to help Feeding South Dakota but aren't comfortable going in stores, you can donate through their website. We have a link to that in this story at kelloland.com.